versus Pretoria, which city is better? Accra is one of Africa's wealthiest and most modern cities, with a high level of living by African standards. Though it has avoided the excess of slums, congestion, pollution and desperate poverty that has befallen many other international capitals, it does have its share of slums, congestion, pollution and also desperate poverty. As for Pretoria, despite being advanced and modern, some Pretoria neighborhoods lack basic essentials like power and drinking water. The government's incapacity to combat corruption magnifies the problem of an already overburdened region. So which city is good enough to come first between Accra and Pretoria? Well, stay tuned as we compare these cities based on their geography, infrastructure, cost of living and tourism to find out which one is better. Hello this Flores and welcome to yet another interesting video on this channel. Before we begin our comparison, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell and stick till the end to find out which city comes first. Geography Accra is Ghana's capital, largest city and administrative communications and economic center. The city which is located on the Gulf of Guinea near the Atlantic Ocean is built partially on an 8 to 12 meter high cliff and expands north across the Accra Plains. From a height of 150 meters, the almost flat and featureless Accra lowlands fall gently to the Gulf. The geography east of the city is defined by ridges and valleys. Meanwhile, the low plains to the west are defined by larger valleys and round low hills with a few rocky headlands. Accra being a coastal city is exposed to the effects of climate change and sea level rise, with population increase putting additional strain on the coastal districts. Drainage infrastructure is extremely vulnerable, with severe implications for people's livelihoods, particularly in urban slums. On the other hand, Pretoria is located around 50 kilometers north of Johannesburg, in the northeast of South Africa, between the High Veld, a high plateau area, and the Bush Veld, tropical savanna ecoregion. Pretoria is located on both banks of the Apis River, in a pleasant, well sheltered, fertile valley encircled by the Magaliesberg range of hills. It is 1,339 meters above sea level. Pretoria's climate is humid subtropical, with long hot wet summers and short moderate winters. The city enjoys typical South African winters, with chilly clear nights and mild to fairly warm days. Although the tropical low temperatures in winter are modest, it can turn chilly owing to clear sky and low evening temperatures. Rainfall is mostly focused in the summer, with drought conditions prevailing throughout the winter months, when frost can be really severe. Pretoria seems to be the opposite of Accra geographically due to its high distance above sea level, making it favorable compared to Accra, which is extremely vulnerable to climate change and rise in sea level. So Pretoria definitely takes the point on this one. Infrastructure when compared to other low-income towns in Africa, Accra has a more mature infrastructure platform. The city's rural water, power, and GSM signal coverage levels are remarkable. The majority of the road network is in good or fair condition. Institutional changes have been implemented in the sectors of ICT, ports, highways, and water supply. Accra's most serious problems are in the electricity sector, where outdated transmission and distribution infrastructure, high demand growth, and frequent hydrological shocks have left the region reliant on high-cost oil-based generation. Water distribution losses are exceptionally high, leaving little to reach end users who are consequently vulnerable to irregular supply. On the side of Pretoria, it has experienced a wide range of cultural influences throughout the years, which is reflected in the city's architectural styles. It spans from 19th-century Dutch, German and British colonial architecture 
to modern postmodern and art deco architecture styles, all with a distinct South African style. Despite the presence of numerous corporate offices, local companies, stores and government agencies throughout Pretoria's white suburbs, the city's central business district remains the traditional center of government and trade. Many banks, businesses, huge enterprises, stores, shopping malls and other businesses can be found in the city center, which is dominated by many large buildings, the largest of which is Point Towns Building. Pretoria is home to the South African National Zoological Gardens, as well as the Pretoria National Botanical Garden, and there are also a few smaller parks and gardens located throughout the area. Pretoria also boasts of many highway roads, high-speed railway train stations, and various bus companies. Pretoria just has a lot to offer when it comes to infrastructure, and the sad truth is, Accra is no match, leaving Pretoria to still take the lead on this one. Cost of Living Accra Ghana's capital city was named 87th most expensive expat destination out of 209 cities. Rent is costly in Ghana, and it will take up a considerable chunk of an expat's budget, particularly in Accra. As the country develops and more multinational corporations establish headquarters in Accra, the foreign community is fast increasing. The demand for housing is enormous, yet there is a scarcity of high-quality safe homes for foreigners. In Ghana, most types of public transportation, including trains, buses and taxis, are unpredictable and unreliable. And as a result, most expats in Ghana drive or hire a driver to transport them on a regular basis. When compared to rental pricing, the cost of acquiring a trustworthy automobile is very expensive and gasoline prices fluctuate continuously. However, as compared to other nations, these prices remain relatively low. On the other hand, apartment rent, property purchase, mortgage rate and utilities are all affordable in Pretoria. Groceries in Pretoria would take a large portion of a family's budget, alongside housing, transportation, and education, due to ever-increasing prices. Most low-income households prefer to shop at local supermarkets, which sell a large selection of fresh local vegetables as well as foreign goods. South African brands are typically less expensive than imported items, and many of them are of high quality. The quality of public schools varies greatly. In general, public schools with greater tuition will provide a higher quality of education due to the increased resources available. While their prices are slightly more than those of typical South African public schools, they are still far lower than any of those private or overseas institutions. According to statistics, Pretoria is 14% more expensive than Accra, making Accra more affordable and preferable for most African families. Accra definitely takes the point on this one. Tourism Accra is a bustling contemporary metropolis where the streets smell of wonderful delicacies and the beach await to refresh you. There's a bustling local cultural scene here, with everything from traditional song and dance to modern bars playing the newest live music. Traditional crafts as well as cutting-edge current trends can be studied. The city's Dutch, British and Danish influences merge with its West African heritage to produce an unforgettable experience. Some people even say Accra street cuisine is numerous, and I quote, and no long vehicle ride is complete for me unless I stop for Kelewele, which is spiced and chopped fried plantain. Accra is never short of music, from passing automobiles to clubs and bars. The mix includes Afrobeat, high life, reggae, and western popular music. Live music in particular draws large crowds throughout the week in Accra. Ghana is a country rich in arts and culture, and Accra is just a small part of what the country has to offer. 
However, being the capital, it has a visual brightness that transcends both official and casual environments. There is much for the eye and intellect to feast on, from hand-painted art to traditional paintings and woodwork. The Art Center is an excellent one-stop shop for gifts and crafts. As for Pretoria, the city has several tourist attractions, including ancient buildings, monuments and museums, as well as gorgeous botanical gardens and wildlife reserves, some of which offer superb game viewing chances within a short drive from the city center. Every October, Pretoria, also known as the Jacaranda City, is covered in a blanket of purple blooms, and their pleasant aroma fills the air. According to legend, if a jacaranda flower falls on your head, you will pass all your examinations. Thus, the yearly advent of the purple flowers is especially appreciated on the campus of the University of Pretoria, where students will wait under the trees all day in quest of good luck. Pretoria is not just a few hours' drive from the Kruger National Park and the well-known Pilanesburg Game Reserve, but it also has a variety of natural reserves inside its own borders. If you are in need of some shopping therapy, Pretoria's largest mall is conveniently located right off the N1 freeway. Menlin Park Shopping Centre contains over 500 retailers, as well as some of Pretoria's greatest restaurants, cafes and bars. Pretoria is a foodie's paradise, with everything from early morning farmers markets to bars and pubs offering the greatest beers. Looking at both cities, Pretoria just has a lot to offer in its touristic sector than Accra, giving Pretoria the upper hand in this point and coming out winner of this comparison with 3 points and Accra with 1 point. That brings us to the end of this video. Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section below on which other cities you'd like for us to do next. If you're not subscribed already, now will be a good time for that. Just give us a like if you enjoyed the video and also turn on notifications so as to be notified on our future uploads. Thanks for watching.